Hey everybody, so this video is about customizing JSBin. Um, basically, I just figured out there's all this great stuff you can do with JSBin, so I kind of wanted to show everybody. Uh, the first thing that you'll want to do is just sign into an account. This is over on JSBin.com. Um, and if you click to sign in, you can just go ahead and um, log in with GitHub OAuth, or you can make an account with your email address. So once you log in, Everything looks pretty normal except that little top area disappears. And then you can click on your account and go to editor settings. Um, so there's basically kind of two tabs I wanted to talk about, the editor settings and the preferences. So for editor settings, you can do all sorts of cool things, like you can change your default font size, you can change your color scheme to anything you want, tabs or spaces, wrap lines, line numbers. You can do these cool key bindings, so if you're used to Vim or Emacs, Sublime, moving lines around and things like that, that's pretty cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here like code folding and all that. I'm going to leave that alone. It gives you like a preview in real time uh, down here of what your code will look like. So if you wanted to go ahead and change to, let's see, I used to really like I don't know, Solarize Dark. And then you scroll down, you can see what your JSBin code will look like. I'm going to leave it as JSBin because I find it pretty readable. Um, and these auto save. So you can go ahead and make all those changes, which is cool. And then preferences, one of the big ones over here that I'm just loving is um, you can choose what panels open by default. So I'm going to, in another tab, just open JSBin, and you can see that by default you've got HTML, JavaScript, and output. So it's like for me, for the past whatever years, I always come to this site and then I unclick HTML, click console, unclick output, and that way I can do my console log. Um, you know, high or whatever, and I hit command enter to run it, and it runs over here. So uh, from now on, I don't need to do that. I can just go ahead and deselect the ones that I don't want, select the ones that I do want, and there we go. You can even choose what panel it's focused on. Um, Auto run JS, all that stuff. The last thing that I wanted to talk about is JS hint. You can enable JS hint, and one thing that always kind of gets me about um, the JS hint built into uh, JS bin is that it'll always yell at me for not using semicolons. Um, so if I had JS hint on and then I were to refresh the page here, I think it would go ahead and scream at me, give me this uh, one error missing semicolon. So you can just go ahead and add any of your own JS hint rules that you want in here. Um, so you can do, I think it's like uh, automatic semicolon insertion and set that to true. And uh, then I think there's like an ES next option if you wanted. Uh, so you can use all the cool ES6 stuff and set that to true. Uh, so that should be good. I'll go back here, refresh the page again. And there we go. No more error from the semicolon stuff. And I can do all sorts of, um, you know, like const foo equals bar or whatever. And now I get all that ES6 stuff as well. Um, yeah, so those are pretty cool. Um, there's a lot more great stuff that you can do uh, if you get to the premium account, but I just thought that was a really cool time saver. Um, so now if I open a brand new tab and I go to JSBin again, everything should be exactly like I want it. Just JavaScript and console focused on JavaScript so I can start typing right away. Um, the last thing that I wanted to mention, which is really cool, is you can, let me go ahead and do HTML and output here, and I'll type something like hello. Uh, and it'll show up over here just like we'd expect. Then I can hit uh, Command Shift S and it'll bring me up this sharing area. Um, these are all available, these keyboard shortcuts back in the preferences, I think. No, let me see. Um, where are they? Uh, somewhere in here. There they go. Help keyboard shortcuts. You can open them up. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can do. Um, so anyway, so I hit Command Shift S and I get this link. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the left side of my screen, make a new incognito tab and paste that link in there. So now these are both watching the same project. As you can see, this one's incognito, so it doesn't have any of my savings. Uh, but it streams in real time. So if I come over here and I type world, uh, world will show up over here. So this is great uh, for so many different things if you're doing a screencast like this. Um, like any of you could go to jsbin.com slash zafiva slash, you know, edit, and you'd see the actual project that I'm working on. Uh, so yeah, so those are some of the cool things that I've been doing with JSBin lately. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.